Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and today I have another fairy tale from my fairy tale alphabet book. This one is called Rabbit Throws Out His Sandal. It is a Mayan fairy tale or folk tale. This one from South America. And so I'll get right into it. Long ago, the animals all lived together in harmony in a single cave in the mountain. Each animal had his own hole in the cave. The coyote, the vulture, the deer, the lion, the snake, and so on. However, they were all very tired of being tricked by the rabbit. You see, the rabbit was a trickster and constantly playing games and jokes on his fellow animals. There was nothing to do but to call a meeting and decide whether or not to keep rabbit. Finally, they all agreed to roll a boulder onto the rabbit and smash him into pieces. Oh, brother rabbit, the lion called out. Do come out, we have something for you. Yes, agreed all the other animals, hardly containing their laughter. The rabbit was wise as well as tricky, so he knew something was up. He had heard the grumbling of the other animals. He was sure whatever they had for him wouldn't be good. I'm coming, called the rabbit. But he didn't come. He sat down to think. Do hurry, the lion called. We don't want to wait for your surprise. Yes, the other animals agreed. Do hurry. Um, I'm looking for my sandal, the rabbit answered. Don't keep us waiting, the other animals called. I can't seem to find it, the rabbit complained. Maybe you can help me find it. We don't know what it looks like, the other animals argued. I'll throw this one out so you can see what it looks like and help me find the other one. The animals gathered together and whispered, Vulture and deer, you go over to the entrance and catch whatever he throws out and throw it away, the lion directed. We just want the rabbit. Good idea, good idea, they all agreed. So vulture and deer waited by the entrance. Here is my sandal, it's coming, be sure to catch it, the rabbit called. Just then something came flying out of rabbit's hole. Vulture caught it and threw it to deer, and deer tossed it away, all the while looking into Rabbit's hole to be sure to get Rabbit when he came out. Okay, we have found it. We have found your other sandal for you, the snake lied. Now do come out for your surprise. They all waited and listened. But there was no sound coming from Rabbit's hole. Soon they became impatient and called for Rabbit again. But no one came from Rabbit's hole. You see, Rabbit had thrown himself out of the hole instead of his sandal and was thrown clear while everyone else was staring into his hole. By the time the rest of the animals figured out, that they had been tricked again, Rabbit got away free. And to this day, Rabbit is still tricking his brother animals. <laughs> I thought that was cute and clever. <laughs> Many of the man stories are stories about animals and mostly about how the animals came to have the traits that they do today. In my collages, I like to add little pictures and things. And so in this one, mostly in the rabbit, of course, 
you will be able to find, um, let's see, there's a fawn, a lion, a howling wolf, a photo of a girl in a frame, all woven into the fur on rabbit. There didn't seem to really be space for extra pictures on the deer and the vulture. I did this one also a little bit different because um, animals have fur and you kind of want them to look furry. So all of the pieces are really quite small, anywhere from a quarter of an inch to half an inch, and most of them aren't even half an inch long in, in um, all sorts of colors and textures, torn and layered together. So there's lots of little fringed areas. When you t tear this uh, paper from magazines, you get a little white fringe. Of course, the antlers on the deer I cut, but mostly everything, oh, besides the eyes, is um, torn. Now I'm working on vulture because they are sticking their head in a hole, which you will see later. I'm going to Photoshop the uh, entrance to the cave. I didn't have to collage the whole animal. Vulture only has his front end, although you can see most of deer. I ended up mixing up all my little pieces, and so now I have to search for them. I didn't mean to mix them up so badly, but that happens. Oh well. So this is for the letter R in my alphabet book, and which means I am more than halfway through the alphabet. I think I may actually be able to finish this book, have it completed by the end of the year, and have it published by the beginning of next year, which is way above or ahead of schedule. I hadn't thought that I could get this far, but this whole quarantining in place, <laughs> shelter in place, has um, given me more time than I expected to have. Still, I am very um, sorry that I haven't been able to see my grandkids in a whole year, nor any of my friends or even my artist friends. We've had a few uh, Zoom meetings, but just not the same. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we would be able to get together and do a paint out this year. You take all of your supplies out into the open in some garden, but that's just not happened. So here it is, the finished product. I hope you enjoyed my story. I hope you enjoyed my collage. And I hope you subscribe. Check out some of my links below. And do 
come again. I appreciate everyone who checks me out. Thank you so much. Bye now.